Good morning and welcome back to the Outer Worlds. I'm joined by the lovely Pavati and Sam. And last time round we managed to get hold of the toss ball poster that Grim was looking for. Uh, we may have stolen it, um, but anyway, less of that. Uh, this time round we need to give some caffeinoid pills that we um, stole from Abigail and hopefully Neoka will agree to join us and we're trying to find, if I have a look at our main quest, we're trying to find I think an information broker uh, and we need uh, Neoka's help so yeah let's go and get Neoka on board. I love Neoka, she's a lot of fun. Here she is, hello Neoka. Ah, the charmer! <laughs> Welcome back! Drink, chat, or business? Oh, please. All of the above? <laughs> yes. I've got your magic pills. These things are dangerous, you know. More or less dangerous than a steady supply of alcohol. <laughs> Give it here. Whoa. Whew, that hits the spot. Right in the, uh... Oh, no. There it is. There it is. <laughs> that was yes. awesome. We're in business. Let's go. They sound like good pills. Um, glad to have you. Great. Where to? Let's find the information broker. Oh, Hiram? I ain't checked in on that man in an age. He's running the giant radio tower we lovingly call Devil's Peak. Right, okay. We'll be going south and west, mostly along the road till we're past Fallbrook. Out there, there's a western slope that'll lead us through some, uh, some fun. You like hunting, right? Oh, yeah. That's fun. Yeah. That'll if you're be more good. of a spelunker, Rotting River will take you into the mountain caverns. Ooh. We can discuss options when we get closer. Okay. That said, uh, three's already a crowd. I don't mind waiting somewhere until you got a spot open. Oh, yeah. Good point. Um... Hmm. Um, I've got a ship at the dock in Bay. Actually, shall I send Sam back? No, I've got a ship at the dock in Bay if you want to wait there. New customer profile created. Greetings, user Neoka. A <laughs> ship? Well, look at you. I'll find a spot there to call my own for now. Find me when you're ready. Okay, that sounds good. Right, okay. Now, I am trying to, this time around, make sure that I speak to everyone who has a name. Um, because what I've kind of done is skip some of the dialogue on some of these little side quests. So, uh... Let's go around and make sure we speak to everybody. You ever about what goes on in a marauder's head? Hmm. No, they're crazy. Oh, you've got a name. But they still manage to feed themselves, dress themselves, work together. Got to be something of that. <laughs> All I need to know is that they're on the other side of that wall. I'm sure someone said the same thing in Amber Heights. Oh. I got to find a new drinking buddy. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Um, you've got a name. Hi, Bennett. Laws. Can't a man enjoy the smooth menthol flavor of a stogie slim in peace? Oh my gosh. Yeah, you've got a lot of brass for a man doing absolutely nothing. What I am doing, ma'am, Ma is enjoying the moment. It's so rare that I can seize one apart from the jabbering masses of this wretched place. Hmm. What are you talking about? This law's forgotten town. Cut off from the rest of the colony. Removed from any culture. Culture. I recall when Stellar Bay was a proper board affiliated town with regular shipments of Auntie Cleo's best and all the cereals. Hmm. Before Sanjar took over MSI and got us all booted. Hmm. So you're a board man then. Um, you, you miss the good old days? Days of consumption and culture. Hmm, selfish. When we weren't squabbling with the iconoclasts for lack of better things to do. Look, you're making me melancholy. Is there something you wanted? Absolutely nothing. I'll leave you be. Hmm. Okay. Now, who should we talk to next? There were a couple of guys up on the on the deck up there. Um, oh, there's the people in the fish back in place. Yeah. Let's head in there. I wonder if this um, restroom, the uh, canteen area, is empty still. Yeah, we cleaned it all out last time. Okay. You got a name? Worker. 
Is that a crate up there? There's a crate up there. God, I bet this place absolutely reeks. Yeah, it's they're fish. Yep, we've got a couple of people here with names. Hey, Velma, I got your cathanoid pills. You're a lifesaver. Hope Abigail didn't give you a hard time. Just the usual. Any word on Braxton? Nothing. Don't know how much longer I can cover for him either. Give me those pills, will you? Here you go. You know, you might consider a real night's sleep instead. Hmm. Right. I want to go up there and nick that thing. Right, okay, Velma. Hi, Velma. Look, you can tell Catherine the new shipment will be ready when it's ready, all right? Whoa. She's welcome to come up here and pack boxes herself if she's in such a hurry. Hey, hang on a minute. Take it easy. I'm just looking around. Well, if you're that friendly about it, then you definitely aren't one of Catherine's sublight toughs. My mistake. Good. I hope you can forgive my temper. This job has been running me ragged lately. First, my autoloader foreman stages a walkout, and now my chief pescatological health manager is missing. Uh, your chief what? Braxton. He's in charge of getting the fish fat, but also making sure they don't get too many tumors. Hmm. He's a real wizard with pharmaceuticals, but he has creative notions of working hours. Comes with living in a free colony, I guess. Hmm. Okay. Um, don't you have rules about that sort of thing? We're not keen on rules for rules' sake around here. Means Braxton skips work sometimes, but it also means no company boss is telling me when I can take a shit. Okay. Since you don't seem to be constrained yourself, maybe you could check up on him. He lives in the apartments. Tell him Velma said to get his lazy ass down here, or she might start noticing those extra drugs he's been taking from supply. Something else on your mind? Um, yeah, what's this about your foreman? Caleb Herrick. Runs the autoloader operators. He thinks I don't pay them enough for flipping switches and turning dials. Hmm. So the job's easy, but you're not doing it? Something smells here. I mean, everything <laughs> smells in here, but something's fishy. <laughs> uh, wait. Yeah. He and his whole crew walked out. Say they won't come back unless I pay them more. Right. So why don't you just pay them more? Because we've got a budget. All right. And in case you haven't noticed, MSI doesn't exactly have a lot of spare bits on hand. Hmm. Well, surely you can make them come back. Not on Monarch. Sanjar threw out the old work mandates and penalties. That's good, right? Sure. Until your workers start making ridiculous demands. Hmm. Okay, well, I can talk to Caleb for you. You mind slapping him around a little while you're at it? Uh -huh. I'm joking. Mostly. Unless you can do it without hurting his job performance. Hmm. If you can find a way to get him back to work, I'll make it worth your while. Check the Yacht Club. He's usually there. Right. Okay, they're the ones spit, um, sitting up on the deck outside, aren't they? Yeah, okay. Uh, you said um, Braxton had been stealing drugs? Ooh, stealing's such a nasty word. Let's call it skimming. Hmm. And yeah, let's just say I've noticed the sterile biotics we use for the fish would get used a little faster on Braxton shifts. Uh, yeah, it's awfully nice of you not to say anything. We're not like those corporate towns where you get fined for sleeping on the wrong side of the bed. Besides, the Spacer's Choice stuff we use is cheap enough. And Braxton knows how to get the Saltuna, fat and mostly tumor free. Ew. Okay. And, um, yeah, okay, who's this Catherine you mentioned when I first came in here? Sublight boss out of Fallbrook. Handles most goods that come in or out of Stellar Bay. Has a mouth like a ground six spacer. Right, okay, I'll talk to you later. Good, um, no. Yeah, I don't think I can really get away with uh, nicking that thing. Where was... Uh, I'm trying to remember where was that place that we kind of broke into and got upstairs and found some computer terminals and things. Let's have a, a little... Oh yeah, here it is. Let's have a little nosy around. Will any of this make any more sense now? Let's just very quickly look. Uh, personal files. Hack. <laughs> Uh, 
Um, Braxton's files are filled with Sultuna breeding charts, various pharmacological formula, and musings on why Sultuna seem to prefer borst and beans over plain borst worst. Okay. Messages? Yep, okay, so we saw that. Nandy. Okay, Braxton. Alright. Nope, nothing really in there. Nothing incriminating anyway. Um, right. Where else was here? So that's back out there. Oh. Oh, is she gone now? Oh, no, there she is. Right, okay, I'm being silly. Let's speak to Frederick. Plenty of work to do, especially with so many no-shows. Oh, okay. Hmm. All right, what's our uh, journal say? So, Caleb Herrick hangs out at the Yacht Club. Let's do that one, I suppose. Yeah, and then we'll need to go to Braxton's apartment. Yep, let's do this one for Caleb. Oh, can't get through there. Excuse me, guys. So that's back at the Yacht Club, just down the road. I hear those rich people in Byzantium pay a handsome bit um, for rap musk. I'm lost. There it is. Didn't think it was too far away. I'm getting to learn the, the layout of this place. Right, okay, here we are. Wait, Caleb. Hello. New face, huh? You from Offworld? Yeah, Captain Mittens of the Unreliable. A ship captain? Well, I'll be. Here, let me buy you a drink. Consider it an MSI welcome. Why Thank don't you grab you. a chair? Sit a spell and revel with us. Thank you. By the smell, he's been reveling enough for you both already. <laughs> okay. Um, we need to talk about Velma. Sure thing. What did you want to discuss? Right, okay, Sanja's gonna fire Velma if you don't return to work. I never meant to call for anyone's head on a pike. Velma's not my favorite person, but she ain't been cruel to us. Devil it all. Now you got me feeling sorry for her. Fine, I guess we'll go back to work to save Velma's job. <laughs> we'll find a better time to negotiate our wages. Tell Velma not to worry, we'll look out for her. Nice, okay. Well, that was easy. Bit of lying doesn't hurt anybody, does it really? Um... <laughs> Oh, do we have to... Yeah, we need to go back and tell her that's uh, sorted. Is there anything else to do here? Where is this one? Is this uh, out of the... The Yacht Club? It looks like that's there. Let's go and have a look at the apartment. And uh, maybe we'll find something interesting. Here we go. Just across the way here. Gosh, we haven't been round here. Look at this. Right here. Who said that? Resident. Resident, resident. Okay. Resident, resident. Oh, I don't know who that was. Is it you over here? Sebastian? Hello. Hello, stranger. Can I interest you in a raptodon tongue? Or maybe some canid toenails? Oh. No, thank you, you look like a woman who's looking for some mostly fresh animal parts. <laughs> no. Um, why would I want any of that? I don't know. Celia usually buys whatever I have, and Mr. Pickett seemed real interested. So I thought maybe I was onto something. Oh, okay. Mr. Pickett? Franklin Pickett from Edgewater? Oh. That's him. He'd been here years. But he always talked about going back to Edgewater one day. Pavati, you know who he's talking about? Sure. Mr. Pickett used to run the community center outside Edgewater. He had this grand idea to make it a museum for Halcyon life. Oh. As my dad told it, Mr. Pickett was always going on about getting a Manta Queen for the last display. Oh, yeah. I he left the that. veil? Gosh, years ago. He came to Stellar Bay years ago, just before the board cut us off. Ended up stuck here. He was always real interested in our monsters. Manta Queens, especially. Okay. Have you seen a Manta Queen? Sure. They're real big. Hard to miss them. Nice. Okay. Where? Well, 
I could send you to the same place I sent Mr. Pickett, but I haven't seen him in a few weeks. To tell true, I'm starting to get a bit worried about him. Yeah. Captain, can we look for him? I'd feel awful if somebody from home was in trouble and we didn't do nothing. Yeah. Tell you course. what. I'll tell you where I sent Mr. Pickett if you promise to look for him. Help him out if he's got himself in trouble. Fair deal? Yep. Sounds good to me. All right, then. Leave town through the southern gate, the one right here, right. and head past the abandoned ruins. Last mana queen I saw was in the wilds out that aways. Could be Mr. Pickett still out there, too. Hmm. I doubt it. All right. Okay. Um. Right, good. Maybe some other time. That's good. We've got another mission. All right, where were these apartments? Uh, ooh, this place looks like a dump, to be honest. Have you got a, a name? No. Can I pick your bypass shun? What is this place? This is cool. Zeng Shuren. Let's talk to you. Well, well. The only new folk I ever see in town are sublight runners from Fallbrook. But you don't look like one of Catherine's. Hmm. What can I get you? Um, yeah, nothing right now. Okay, so you're some sort of trader. That's cool. That net's a bit holy. Uh, tobacco corneas. Okay, that's fine. Right, let's go and have a look at this apartment. Wow. There's a, a place we can go into oh, as well. Uh oh. Someone's been killed! Whoa. I think I'm gonna be sick. Oh, not on me. Um, are, are you alright? No! I just stepped in a dead man's blood. And I think one of the flies landed on my mouth. Oh, gross. <laughs> if you're going into the apartments, do not go into the lower one on the right. That's where the body is. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go contemplate a hot shower. Okay. All right. Let's uh, let's head in here. Then that doesn't sound like it's going to be very pleasant. Vending machine, yeah. Is it this one they said? Oh dear. Yep, place has been ransacked. Oh, oh sorry, sorry. Just spooked me. Was all. Yeah. Body bag dispenser empty. Please replace sac reel before disposing of any corpses. Oh, sorry. That's gross. Right, okay. Let's have a look. Victim. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm just going to steal his stuff because he doesn't need it anymore, really, does he? Let's go and have a look, see if we can find any clues before anybody arrives. Uh, we've got a, uh, a tossable betting slip. This uh, betting slip lists some incredibly bold wages made for a team called Mostly Colonists. It's from Left Field Tossball Betting. We saw that place last time. Yeah, okay. Um, okay, what else? Let's have a look in the bathroom. Nope, nothing. Wow, they really did a number on this, didn't they? What's this? Um, hastily packed suitcase, several ragged outfits, all of the same cut and colour were stuffed into the suitcase. Okay. Got some bit cartridges. Anything else? Uh, not really, unless I'm missing something. Okay, I think uh, our clue is the betting slip, so we need to go into the um, that betting place. Okay. Right. What else do we have in here? Oh, hi. Hello. You don't mind me just coming in and chatting? Got any news from the rest of Halcyon? Hmm, okay. Can I use your terminal? Will you get angry if I do that? Right, okay, um, two, Mr. Nandy, sorry to bother you about this, but something foul is leaking from the apartment upstairs. I don't know what Celia is keeping up there. Oh, but she works for you, right? Do you think you could talk to her about it? All right. Um, Isaac, can you please 
sorry, two Isaac. Okay, can you please try to keep your windows shut as I've tried to explain, leaving them open, especially when you've got food out. Invites mantis swarms, and a mantis swarm infestation is everyone's problem. Okay, Braxton, I know you keep odd hours. I know because I've heard you come in and go in at all times of the day and night. Haha. <laughs> But maybe you could try to close your door a little more quietly. I'd rather have sensitive nerves. I have rather sensitive nerves. And every time I hear your door, I think we're in the middle of another Amber Heights. Oh, yeah. Good point. Um. Okay, go on quiet. Yeah. Let's get right in the corner. Can, uh, can she see me? Yikes. Okay, and we'll break that down. Yeah, you really can get away with everything by just crouching in this one. Do I want to steal stuff from right behind you? Probably not. Right, okay, so that's downstairs sorted. Just the, the matter of the body. Let's set up here. Look at these old wooden stairs. Whatever you do, don't mention Tossball to Isaac. You'll never hear the end of it. <laughs> You know, I haven't seen him in a while. If you got me stuck in an hour-long rant about mostly colonists, you'd be thankful. Okay. You two stay there. Don't come in here and, you know, get me caught. Let's make sure there's nobody in here first. And I think we'll pick this first. Nice. Okay, I'll just grab everything and we'll sort it all out a bit later. Um, lemon slap, okay. What's that? Is that something we can pick up? Nope. Uh, I've got a game going on. Bed. Bunk. Um, Inferno Scythe. Alright. Wait. Sure. You guys can come back. Hello, hello. Uh, I'll tell you what, why don't you two go and stay there? Just kind of, you know, block the view of me. Oh, no, I didn't expect you to be in here. Who are you? Talk. Oh. <gasps> Laura. You startled me. Don't sneak up on a person like that, huh? Um, I'm looking for Braxton. Have you seen him? Braxton? I've never even heard of a Braxton. Got nothing for you, sorry. Uh, you look nervous. You've been taking drugs. Relax, no one's in trouble. I'm looking for a, to have a friendly chat with him. Oh, in that case, he told me he was delivering to this house in the ruins south of town. Whole family had fallen sick and he had some meds on hand. Okay. So maybe look for him there? Okay, that's all I needed. Reminder, if you let your Sam unit be eaten by wildlife, well, it voids the warranty. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, oh, what's this? Uh, out for deliveries, dropping a care package off with the Mathers in the old ruin south of Stella Bay. Be back soon. And Laura, I know you're reading this. Stay out of my things. Okay. Anything in the bathroom? Nope. Good, okay. Is that all there is up here? Yeah, just these two rooms. I feel like there should be more in here, but... Anyway. So we found a dead body. Um, right, what well, we got selected again? Uh, yeah, investigate left field toss ball betting. We'll do that in a bit. Let's talk to Velma about um, getting Caleb and his crew back to work. Uh, yeah, we can go this way. Ooh, there's a there's a crate down here. Ooh, nice. Excellent. <laughs> These guys are about as subtle, subtle as a brick. Uh, why are you looking, Agnes? You're looking upset. Um, where are we off to? Sorry, I've completely lost where I need to go. Just around the corner here. This 
is a very interesting location. Let's head back in this way. I think it would just be quicker. Oh no, I've gone the wrong way. Oh, I can get through it through here. Right, Velma. Is that your name? Velma, yeah, that's right. I'd give you a friendlier welcome, but I'm up to my elbows and salt tuna guts. Okay. Gosh, this old girl's in a rough way. Even old Bess in Edgewater was in better shape than this. Hmm. Hey, you want to try running a cannery with obsolete machinery? You be my guest. <laughs> um, sorry, ma'am. I wasn't trying to be rude. It's just your flanging apparatus isn't making a strong flange, so your sealer isn't sealing right, and... Oh. I see what you're saying. Huh. I'll have to try that. Nice. Anyway, what do you folks need? Um, uh, let's talk about Caleb. You knocked any sense into him yet? Yeah, I told him you were about to lose your job. He said he'd come back. Well, that's awful nice of him. Sure wouldn't have expected that. Mm. Thanks for your help. You've gotten me out of a tight spot here. Take this for your efforts. Honest work deserves honest pay. Okay. Something else on your mind? Um, okay, yeah, I'll talk to you later. Whoa. Okay, we've leveled up. Uh, we've got MSI reputation increased. Nice. Yeah, we need to put some points in sneak. I think so. Um, okay, what else? We've got another five points available. There are 50 across the board down there. I, I guess we could put five in ranged. Haven't put any in there for a while. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, let's accept perks. We've got a perk. Aha, very nice. Yeah, let's do um, movement speed during TTD, I think. Okay, good. Pavati, have you got one? You don't. Sam? No, you don't either. Um, yeah, we'll look at the, the um, codex at another time. Uh, yeah, left field toss ball betting. That might be nice to do next. That's going to be at a house south of Stella Bay. That means going out of this little town. Um, and that means going to Fulbrook. And what's this one? Yeah, and that's out of town as well. Nice. Okay. Yeah, let's do this one next then. So, left field, toss ball betting. Where did we see that? I'm trying to remember. Was it near the entrance? Well, She's always cranky. Hmm. No, I mean, more than usual. Wouldn't know. I made it a point to stay out of her way. Hmm. Okay. Um. I'm trying to remember where I saw this betting place. Here's the entrance. There's a residence. I guess I should be looking at the um, marker. Wildlife Emporium. Oh, just there on the on the left down here. There we go. I see the marker now. Silly me. Okay, we've got a side door. Should we have a look upstairs first? Oh, we've already been up here. Nope, this is the wrong place. It's that place down there. Fair enough. Here we are. Nice. Okay. I know we'd opened the door and had a look in, but uh, we definitely didn't speak to anyone in here. Um, okay, we've got Nell. Hi, Nell. Ooh, you're the new face. Wow, you must be up on all the latest toss ball games. <laughs> so who do you follow? Wait, don't tell me. You look like a Hammersmith Thunder fan. No. Glacial age mammoths. Probably the mammoths. Um, yeah, they're uh, they're all pretty great. Yeah, who has time to watch grown men and women hit balls with sticks? Aren't they just? When I get to worrying about the marauders outside, the raptodons chewing at the walls, I just turn my transceiver up to drown it all out. Hmm. Most of the time it's static on account of the frequency being clogged up, but sometimes it's toss ball. <laughs> So, what can I do for you? Well, I found this betting slip in a dead man's apartment. Any idea what might have happened to him? Yep. 
Poor Isaac. I was wondering why I hadn't seen him in a few days. Hmm. I'd really like to help. Isaac was a sweet fellow, even if he did have terrible teeth. Oh my gosh. Yeah, cut to the chase, do you know? Yeah, exactly. What do his teeth have anything to do? Have to do with anything? They were ask. pretty distinct. Monarch doesn't exactly have a thriving dental industry, and Isaac seemed to get stuck in all sorts of bad habits, dietary and otherwise. Hmm. Sometimes he'd drink Purpleberry Punch by the leader, other times he'd keep betting on a losing team. Started owing the wrong people money. Oh, okay. So who did he owe? I don't know for sure, but I saw Elijah and his buddies pushing Isaac around. They're hooligans from Fallbrook. Oh. They sweep into town, drop supplies off behind the warehouse, and spend the rest of their stay getting rowdy over tossball games. Okay. They usually loiter in the alley behind the yacht club. They're not allowed in the bar anymore. I bet you anything Isaac ran into trouble with one of them. Right. Okay, thanks for the tip. Mr. Sanjar will be pleased to hear about it when you're done. I know he gets fed up with the Fallbrook bullies, but there's not much he can do. All right. Well, thanks for that. Um, is there anything we can do in here? Yeah, the world bu world world building in this game is pretty good. I I, I do like it. Okay, let's go and have a look for these uh, hooligans. Weapons out, people. So behind here, uh, this way. What are the chances of all the times and places we could have oh. been born? Okay. Yeah. We're here, light years from Earth, going about our lives. Every time the punch clock peels, a worker earns his meals. <laughs> what are you talking about? Sorry. I thought you were quoting, it's a wonderful directorate. <laughs> okay, you're weird. Right, you're a resident. Yeah, you're all residents, I think. That's, yeah, we've spoken to you. So it looks like it's really... Please, will someone help me? My boy's in trouble. Oh, jeez, okay. Yeah, we'll come back to you, lady. Hmm, Berta. Hello, Who Berta. Who the fuck are you? This ain't your alley. Rude. There's a thug. At least, he's, at least she's got a name. And another thug. And hey, Elijah. What are you doing here? This is our secret alley. Oh my god. Berta already pissed by those crates to market. Oh jeez. Uh, I know that you murdered Isaac. Listen. That purple tooth twerp had it coming. Not that anyone has proof. And not that it's any of your business. I'm making it my business. I fend your tussle stick. This is gonna catch up with you. Hmm. I yeah, I'm I'm gonna intimidate. Oh yeah? What are you saying exactly? Yeah, you've bullied people long enough. If you know what's good for you, you'll clear out and never come back. Wow. Most of the pencil pushers around here cave as soon as you look at them funny. Hmm. Fine, we're going. This ain't worth it. Yeah, on your bike. And now I'm going to loot some stuff. If I can. Anything here? Ooh, flamethrower you say. We'll have that. Anything else? Um, not really. I don't think so. Oh, there's a little crate here. Building volume now. Yep, nice. Grab the ammo. Anything we can climb up on? Doesn't look like it, does it? Right, let's go and talk to that lady who was a bit distressed. Right, let's put the gun away, I guess. What are those? Mushrooms? Oh, that's gross. Oh, there's a mag pick there. Uh, I don't think we can steal that. Uh, Agnes. Okay, hi Agnes. Oh, thank you for stopping. Everyone acts like nothing's wrong. Like my little boy isn't at risk of being eaten by some vile creature. 
Hmm. Please, you have to help me get my little Tucker back. He ran away and is going to get himself killed. Oh, I, I just know a Raptodon is melting him with acid as we speak. Oh, she's, uh, she's a bit crazy. Um, calm down, take a deep breath and tell me uh, what happened. Don't you tell me to calm down. I promised my boy I'd protect him for always. But how can I keep him safe if he's run away? He ran out hmm. into the wilderness a few days ago. I warned him about the raptodons, mantisaurs and marauders, the toxic sulfur pools and poisonous plants, but he didn't listen. Oh, law, Captain. A youngster won't last long in a place like this. Please, can't we help? <laughs> Please, won't you go and find my boy? Okay. <laughs> Did you say there was a reward involved? Why would Tucker run away? He's been pining for an adventure. Says he's tired of living cooped up behind the walls. But he doesn't understand how dangerous it is out there. Hmm. I warned him. A raptodon would snap him up first chance it got. I just know one's ripped his arm off and is gnawing on his sweet little fingers. Jeez. He should have listened to his mama. I promised I'd keep him safe here with me. She seems quite old, doesn't she, to have a young son. Um, all right. Where would he have gone? He's been listening to those awful broadcasts that the iconoclasts put out. I begged Sanjar to put a stop to them, but did he? No! Hmm. And now I just know my boys run off to Amber Heights. That is, if a Manta Queen hasn't spooled out and eaten his entrails for breakfast already! Oh my god. Um, Alright, I'll help find you, son. Thank you. Oh, I know he'll be safe now that someone's able to fetch him home. You look for him in Amber Heights, you hear? It's down the road southwest of town. I'm sure he made it that far. I just know it. Hmm. And if you find any of them iconoclast indoctrinating my boy, you punch them in the mouths. Oh my Tell God. them what I think of them luring little boys away from their mamas. It's immoral. Ooh. Yeah. She's intense. Who's the sweetest boy? Who is it? Error. Unable to process the specific customer service request. Please repeat the order. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> That's cheeky. Right, okay, where... Is this... Oh, Sanjo's in here. Yeah, let's speak to Sanjo quickly. Oh, look at these. Could I get another advance, Mr. Nandi? Just make sure it's properly logged. <laughs> I'll note it next to the others, sir. Nice, okay. Hello. Well, new business turns up at last. Celia, didn't I tell you our new statistics-based advertising model would be a hit? <laughs> That you did, sir. How can yield improvements of 26.7% not quicken the pulse? <laughs> How can 32% cost savings not moisten the loins? <laughs> Indeed. You've often posed these very questions. Awkward. Clear my schedule. This newcomer has a meeting with me. Um, that's very generous of you. Celia, will you make a note of that for my self-review? Very generous. <laughs> Noted. <laughs> but not so generous I can't drive a good bargain. Now, who sent you? Rizzo's, perhaps? Or Auntie Cleo herself? Hmm. Um... I'm just looking for the uh, information broker. Hiram? Why, he's probably still out at Devil's Peak. Not that he's had the courtesy to notify me, at any rate. Hmm. But if you're here for him, I suppose that means you aren't here for Saltuna. Oh, no. Um... <laughs> yeah, if I have to eat one more weird science project passed off as food... Hey, it could always be both. Now, now, there's no need to humor me. I'm used to this particular letdown. <laughs> Seems like you're having a rough time, Mr. Sanjar. Are you doing quite all right? Oh, don't worry on my account. This is merely the latest in a long line of professional erotic and athletic disappointments <laughs> i had hoped that livening up our advertisements with enticing figures would draw the other corporations back to our bosom but 
It seems we're back to the drawing board. Indeed. Okay. Um. Yeah, sounds like a personal problem. I've got other concerns. What can I do for you? <laughs> um. Yeah. Isaac Rose is dead. I found the people who killed him. But that's terrible. Yeah. What happened? It was Elijah, Elijah and his uh, hooligan friends. I ran them out of town. I'm glad to hear you've dealt with them. They've been causing quite a bit of trouble around town. I've been consumed with other matters of late, but I would have dealt with them eventually. Hmm. Okay, MSI reputation increased. Good. Of course you would have. Of course I would have. <laughs> Still, your intervention in the matter is much appreciated. Please consider this payment for your services. Thank you. Uh, okay. I met Grim, the London pad guard. I see. And was his delivery of the MSI authorized greeting up to snuff? <laughs> it was very good. He did a bang up job. Well, that's excellent. I'll see that your feedback makes it into his review. What else can I do for you? Okay. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I've got. I've got questions about MSI in the good old then days. Then it's good that I keep such meticulous notes. Oh, okay. What can I do for you? Okay, that <laughs> didn't quite go where I was expecting. Uh, what's this one? Early you mentioned that you were having trouble with the other corporations. With the whole board, as a matter of fact. Thanks hmm. to the so-called hazard clause, Monarch has been cut off from the board's resources and protection for ten years now. Now, we've kept ourselves in business by trading with individual corporations, but given the off-the-books nature of those transactions, such arrangements are precarious. Hmm. Yeah. And you're tired of scrounging and scraping by, is that it? Yes. Freedom is a tempting ideal, but a rather costly paramour. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Uh, so what do you uh, mean to do about it? Well... Mr. Nandi here has a rather ingenious plan to get MSI restored to the board. On our terms, mind you. Okay. But will that help the people here, Mr. Sanjar? Keep them fed and safe? That's precisely what I'm trying to do. And if our advertising scheme hasn't borne fruit, then perhaps it's time we took matters into our own hands. Hmm. All right. Enough preamble. What's the plan? It's a two-pronged approach. The first part involves seeing Stellar Bay properly defended. Fine, but how do you mean to do that? With a Bolt 52 cartridge, of course. Oh, of course. If you can get us what we need to rejoin the board, starting the Bolt 52, we'll right. be able to become one of the most productive and secure cities in Halcyon. Hmm. And you'll have a powerful ally on the board. Um... Yeah, this uh, Bolt 52 sounds useful. What is Why, it? Why, one of the strongest defenses in Halcyon. An extremely powerful ordinance. Oh. Uh, <laughs> um, where do I find one? In the old arms building southwest of town, which used to be part of Stellar Bay before we had to move our walls in. These days it's overrun with marauders and raptodons. Okay. All right, I'll, uh, I guess I'll go and get you a Bolt 52. Do be careful. I've lost more than a few people to Marauders and Raptodons out there. Oh, and while you're at it, there should be a terminal in the arms building with some dangerous information. Mm. Perhaps you could delete it so it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Or maybe sell it. Okay. Sure. Nice. Good. We've got a couple of uh, new missions on the on the go there, Whoops. then. Whoops. Hold on there, Sam. I think you got some schmutz on your chassis. <laughs> Did your Sam unit get dirty on the job? Simply initiate Sam self-cleaning mode. It's as easy as one, two, three. <laughs> Ooh, nuh -uh. You keep that nozzle to your own self. <laughs> oh, I love those two. Okay, so, gosh, we've spoken to a few people today. Let's have a look at the journal. I bet you've got a lot of uh, missions. So, we've got to go to Devil's Peak. We need to pick up Neoka and do that. Um... Yeah, still can't do that one. Look for Tucker in Amber Heights. Yeah, that, that lady was not quite what she seemed, I don't think. Uh, the Secret People. Go and find out what's happened to Braxton. 
Um, we've still got the space crime continuum to do. Um, we've got to get into this arms building. Um, we've still got um, Vicar Max's quest. Gosh, there's, there's loads here. And then we've got Mr. Pickett's biggest game. Um, uh, search for a signs of the Manta Queen. Okay. Gosh, okay. I don't quite know what to do next time, but... I better sort out my uh, inventory. Um, we're doing okay carry capacity wise. Um, yeah, I think that's a great place to leave the episode. So thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, take care and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.